Alright guys, hello, welcome back to the stream. Spruce Moose here for game two. Backpacks Gaming here versus Team UK. In this best of three final here for the EU Open qualifiers, the winner of this series will go through to the close EU qualifiers for DAC. Backpacks Gaming here taking game one in pretty exciting style. Let's we'll see if uh, Team UK can bring one back, take this to a best of three. Or if Bone7, Weeha and Co can uh, crush it in game two. <laughs> Lions are legit British. That's why they're yellow and called Lions, because they were summoned from Sandstone of Lionesses atop which Camelot stood by King Arthur. Okay, today I learned, guys, history lesson and Dota. Much excite. Thanks, Polly Cairo, for that, man. Draft-wise, though, let's see what's going on. Team UK, oh, they've gone for their old favourite, the Clockwork Shadow Fiends opener. Backpacks here, they've gone for the first pick, Tuscar. Banned so far, the Lycan, Brewmaster, Sand King. On the side of Backpacks Gaming, Tiny, Bounty, and Enchantress of Team UK. Really not wanting to have to deal with the vision for the Bounty and just... The insane pressure that Rod was able to put onto that top lane with the Enchantress. What we got coming up next, we reckon. Second pick for backpacks. They're going to pick up another support. They're going to grab a core. Taking their time to think about this second pick. They do realise it's their go, right? 50 seconds on the clock left for the second pick. And if Team UK have completely outdrafted them already with the Scottbird Shadow Fiend combination, which I'll very much doubt. Okay, did not expect that as a second pick hero. Invoker. Hello. Okay. Second pick Invoker on the side of Backpacks Gaming. Very unexpected. Haven't seen too much Invo recently. Thanks for follow, General Jeevacus man. Appreciated. Uh, of course, Weeha. Renowned is probably one of the best Invoker players in the world, especially when he was back playing for Team Secret. Uh, next ban phase come along. They will ban out PL themselves on Team UK, interestingly enough. Thought they might want to leave that open for themselves against the Invoker, but also they've already picked the Shadow Fiends, they've got their mid laner. <laughs> but then Camelot gave away all the money in the lottery, and King Arthur will be pissed when he returns. Fact. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Faces Void will be the next ban for Backpacks Gaming. What else are we looking for? Maybe try and ban up something here to combo with the Invoker. I mean, they've got the Tusk already, which is actually a pretty nice setup for the Invoker. You've got the Snowball, you've got the Shards, Aorus Punch as well. Easy setups for the Sunstrike to get the Invoker going. Um, they'll ban out the Bane. Okay, the other pretty meta position 5 first. We've got, we've got the Witch Doctor left. Uh, Shaman is actually still in the pool. Uh... <laughs> I imagine Team UK probably want to go for the Witch Doctor themselves. I may to actually ban the Shadow Shaman over the Bane. I guess either one's pretty irritating, but the Shadow Shaman Tusk combination is pretty effective. They'll ban out the Bat Rider on the side of Backpacks Gaming. Hello, oh, Team UK. They grab the Shadow Shaman. Fair enough. What does that leave backpacks with then? Witch Doctor. Uh, what else have we got? Disruptor, I guess. Could be a pretty nice pick. Uh, Rubik as well. I don't necessarily like the Rubik that much, though. Depends what else I want to go for. 
Oh, yep. The other hero I forgot about, Twinhead Dragon, Jikiro. <laughs> Sorry, guys, hope you didn't hear the sneeze. I'll try and mute myself. <laughs> uh, okay, Jikiro. Well, that's going to be the position 5 then, I imagine, though we did see some classic Weeha mid Jikiro back in the day. But I doubt it's going to be that. He will probably be picking up the Invoker. But I like that, Jikiro. Nice, tanky support. Pretty decent versus the Clockwork. Uh, at least, I don't know actually, you can never get any of his spells off I guess if he's getting hit by the, uh, hit by the battery assault. This is why I need my, uh, my divine co-caster here to tell me why I'm being stupid and suggest better things than I am, but I'm just trying to talk my way through it here. Here we go, fourth pick for Team UK. They've got a minute and a half on the clock. I imagine they want to pick up the pseudo hero here. Otherwise known as the Ross Welp Pritchard here. Pseudo Noodle, what's he going to go for here on this off lane? The Batrider's been banned. They've still got the Omni Knight available. Uh, another one of his favourites. We obviously see him playing Tom, Tide Hunter. Could be good. Um, I'm not sure if they want to go for the Omni because that puts all the initiation on the clockwork. Tide. It's kind of annoying to play against Jakiro though as a Tide. Mm. Not too sure, to be honest. They're thinking about it. They're not sure either. 40 seconds. Here we go. It's going to be the Tide Hunter. Okay. Got that one right, at least. There we go. Now, backpacks. They need their off. They need their safe laner. What actually is actually left? They oh they know what they want. They're gonna go for the razor. Okay, that could obviously be the safe lane. I imagine it is to go against the tide hunter. Sad times for Sudal there. He is not gonna have a nice lane versus the razor. One of the best counter picks towards the tide hunter. Purging that kraken shell and just leashing him up, forcing him out of lane. Sad times for tide. Last bands will come out though. They don't know if they're going to do like the secret style off lane razor. They could just lane the razor 1v1 versus the Tide Hunter, go for like a tri core. Um, I imagine it might be a bit greedy though with the Invoker. They kind of want to play around the Invoker, right, as the one in this game. He wants to be the centerpiece of the team. Um, so Razor is quite a nice complementary carry. So they probably want to go for another uh, sort of team fighter here, maybe. What can they go for on the off lane? Tiny. Tiny's already gone. Tide's gone. What else? They're going to ban the Omni Knight. Okay. They don't have that much initiation on the side of backpacks, but they do have a lot of movement speed with the raising the Evoker. Omni Knight can just run at them again and get aggressive. They know what they want. They're going to. Ooh, interesting. I did not expect that, actually. The Nature's Prophet. Interesting. Well, that gives them some push, some gank ability as well. Easy sun strikes as well. You get the uh, sprout. Box them in perfectly a nice little circle. With the tusk, you can gank a lot as well, for sure. Um, they've got good deep push now with the Jakiro and the Invoker. Good aggressive push with the Razor and the Furo and the Invoker as well. But Team UK, they go for the Tinker. Okay, we've seen this before. Everyone now in the draft... Everyone in Twitch chat getting ready to go, what the fuck? This is going to be the safe lane Shadow Fiend here. And the Meep Tinker. This is a Team UK staple. Oh, I'm looking forward to this game. Alright guys, if you've just joined the stream, welcome. Spruce Moose here casting. We've got Backpacks Gaming here. Bone 7, Weeha Stack versus Team UK here for this last space into the regional close qualifiers for EU DAC. Hopefully we have a good game for you guys. This is the game two of the series of this best of three. Backpack Gaming taking game one in a very exciting fashion. Hopefully game two can provide as much as game one. Thanks for the follow there, Styro. 
much appreciated. All right, let's get underway. Here we see the classic Cogs Shadow Fiend combination. They're just going to feed him up with souls, give him that nice, nice laning start. And Weeha, I don't think he's going to have a very nice time here in this middle lane at the start, or at all. Um, he's going to be on his team to try and make some space for him. I imagine they might just park the Jakiro middle. Uh, the other lanes are actually pretty good already. Razor's going to be fine versus the Tide Hunter. Freeron's going to be fine. Well, actually, I'm not sure versus the Tinker. Or that would be the Shadow Fiend, would it? I think it would be in the middle Tinker. Actually, yeah. Do you want to put Shadow Fiend a bit safely in Tinker? We'll see. Actually, the last time they did this combination, they um, had the Tinker middle and the Shadow Fiend safe lane. But I think they might want to put the Shadow Fiend uh, middle. We'll see. Rod here. Being irritating these trees. Sunstrike comes through from Weeha, just harassing the Shadow Shaman. I didn't actually stop the sneeze, by the way, chat. I just muted myself and then sneezed so you guys didn't have to hear it. I wasn't trying to forcibly stop the sneeze. But thanks for the concern. Uh, aggressive play here. Razor's going to move up into the dire side. Grabs the rune <laughs> at the last second there. He's tied. He uh, swims himself away. But they'll grab all four runes. Okay. Nicely done. GG, game over. Go next. Laser there will find the last hit. So it is going to be the middle Shadow Fiend. My uh, caster predictions, they were accurate. But they are going to put the Tusk. They're going to try lay in the middle. Okay. That seems good. Uh, nice shards there blocking out the Shadow Fiend. He can't walk back up his ramp. He's forced to walk all the way round. Here comes Toller on the clock. There's to get the breath there as well from Drakiro. It's going to burn him down a fair chunk. He has a couple more tango shared, but you can't use them for another 55 seconds. And yeah, this, this is this is how you deal with the Shadow Fiend clock thing. You just you just hit him with a Jakiro repeatedly. Cox, they will come out from Toddler, try to force back Weeha. He's going to do an okay job at doing so, but Shadow Fiend. 0 to 16, so he hasn't got a last hit. Yeah, saying that he just grabs the one, but he has the 16 denies. Up top, though, this is where the action is going to be, I reckon. Shards, beautiful shards there from the Tusk. Cuts through the trees, blocks in the uh, Shadow Shaman there. A little bit of harass from the uh, tree ants there. But Rod here, again, it's going to have a very nice lane. But Clockwork, maybe think about wrapping around. But look at this Fury. He can just stand there and right click the Shadow Shaman. And he actually might go down. This might be first blood. No, Laser comes through with much of the machines. Level two. Shards there from the Tusk. Doing a fair bit, but not quite enough. Tolero's here, though. Trying to force them back. Uh, where goes the Furion? He's going for a courier snipe. Can he get it? He did indeed. And TV straight back to the lane. That is the power of the hero. You don't need a bounty hunter to snipe couriers when you have the position free Furion. Okay. Nicely played there by Backpack Gaming. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Tidon actually doing okay. 4 0, 5 3 on the Razor. But this top lane, Tinker, getting harassed by these triads here. Doesn't have much of the machines for a little bit. But this, look at this Shadow Fiend, gets so aggressive on Weeha. Weeha, very, very low for THP. Has to back himself up to try and regen. Needs to be very careful here. No mana for the raise. Does have it now. Shakira rotating over on the side. Oh, missing the first button. No. But here we go. Cold Snap here with the brief fire. They get a 1-1 one, one trade top, but we're trying to watch this middle engagement here. Can they catch him? There's the Ice Path level 2 from Jakiro. It's not going to be enough, or is it? Yes, no. Oh, the salve! The uphill miss. The Sunstrike connects, but the uphill miss for the Jakiro double damage is not going to be enough. The Brief Fire is going to miss, and the Shadow Fiend will live. Meanwhile, up top, free kills were going on. Sorry about that, guys, but I wanted to watch this Shadow Fiend with the Jukes. But here comes a Snowball into another form of Ice. The Ice Path there from the Jakiro. They get the Cold Snap as well. With the Ice Shards, they are playing some sort of role-playing here. But they do finally bring it down. It takes three heroes, but they get him. Score now 2-2 on the board. Tolera being irritating here to Weeha. Gets the Cogs out with the Badger Tour. Actually, might solo him. No. No, very far pop by Weeha. Here comes a Snowball. Can he find it? No. Pops the Salve. Turns with the... Can he get the raise? No. Tusk survives. Ice Bath comes through from Jakiro there. Shadow Fiend should be fine. He's going to be fine, but... Ah. Oh. 
Toddler right there, so close to bringing down Weeha. Oh, the Ray's just going to miss the Jakiro. Not quite enough damage. Rod now getting pressured out though on this Furion. Actually, is he lagging? No mana on the Shaman there. Oh, he's just microing it. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, thanks for the fire there, man. Appreciated. Tabster. You know, 13 to 21 though on the Shadow Fiend. He's doing a lot of damage. Only 9 and 1 on the Weeha Invoker. Ty's actually not doing horrendous. He's just kind of jumped to the jungle, trying to farm up some stacks. Do the best he can, but all things considered, it's not too bad. Tinker though getting heavily pressured here by this Nature's Prophet. He's going to run towards the rune. He's looking for that soul ring. Clockwork rotating over, gets liquid fired up. He's going to be fine. The shards there, no. Not quite catching him, pushes him away. Tinker. Sitting back in here, farming up the jungle. Crow's on his way towards him. What's he got now? That's the soul ring picked up. Rotation's coming round. Weeha might be in trouble. Clockwork is here. Can they get this? There's the cogs, there's the rays. Cold snap comes through, trying to turn around with the snowball into the sunstrike. It's not going to be enough. The second rays there finds the kill. Rotation comes through here from the Nature Prophet. Can they get the counter kill? The sprout comes through. Trains drop down. Nice ice path there from Shakiro, trying to turn it onto the Shadow Fiend. The rays comes out, trying to get a turnaround kill at least, but he's going to go down there. Tusk gets the shards kill. Tolera rotates back in here on the clockwork, trapping in the Jakiro, but is he just trapping himself in there? Sprout comes through again from on doing a lot of damage. There's another ice buff will miss, but Colstack comes through here from the Evoker, trying to go for the Sun Strike. Just misses, but the brief fire should be enough damage to bring it down with the trains. Tolera will go down as well. Two kills there going the side of the Radiant. 6 3 to score now with a 1k advantage. Thanks to the follows there, guys. Appreciated. Ready in those, trying to find that regular killer in the treads. Invoke, he's looking for his Midas. RK Moon up top, they're going to give that to Weehart. Shakira's just kind of camping on it. Meep looking for the BTs. 1500 gold away, he's not going to get it at like 8 minutes, like he did the other game. No such luck this time around. Not such a good start. I mean, he's doing fine, 33 and 5, but it's fine. Shadow Fiend just forcing Weehar back with these raises, pushing the creeps underneath the tower. Cold Snap comes through. Rod's going to rotate there. Coming behind, there's the Sprout as well. There's the Sunstrike Ice Path as well from Shakira and the Snowball. Rod finding the kill. Shren goes down 4 versus 1, guys. Come on, that's not fair. Shards comes through, trying to push. Or catch the uh, clock, but it's actually going to push him away again. It's fine. And they turn their attention now towards this tier 1 tower in the middle. With the Liquid Fire, level 2, and the Furion Triant. They're going to try and punish this tower. Try to push it down. Take it away. Open up the map a bit more for their team. The Fortification will come out. They spot out the clockwork. Tusk is here. Has a snowball ready. Ice buff there will lead the way. Gets the cogs into the sprout. Beautiful cogs there, but I will hold back the stable. Shards there will trap him. The rotation's coming through from the Shadow Charm as well. Shren, Soda Phoenix here as well. They get a shock there, and the Ray's trying to force it back. Meanwhile, Razor diving past the tier 1 tower bottom finds the kill on the Tide Hunter. Is enough to force the rest of them away in the middle lane. The town will survive for now. How's Razor doing? We haven't focused too much on this lane. All the action has been happening elsewhere, but he's doing pretty well for himself. Top of the CS, 30 to 31. Looking for the drum of endurance. Very close to that. One more creep, and he will have that. Shaman looking for the arcane boots. There's a few wards on him. Let's get some of those out. Rod here he is going for the drum of endurance as well. Two drums so far on the team. They're going to be very speedy. Clockwork, though. He's eyeing up this razor. He's pretty low, but curious here as well. Tide has the Ravage. They're going to get the Cogs here. Plasmafield comes out. There's the Gush. It's actually going to burst down. They have the Anchor Smash. We'll slightly miss, but they'll get the kill anyway. Battery Assault there from Toddo. That is a big, big kill as well. 441 gold at 8 minutes in. Going towards that Clockwork. Regen Rune is top. Meatball will be dropped by Weehar. Dodge by the Shadow Fiend, but it will de-push the wave. Weehar looking for this Regen Rune. 
we'll pick it up. Oh, Rod rotating in. Fancy is the Shaman. Here comes the Tusk with the Shards. Evershot comes out, though. Trying to do the best he can. Snable cancels up the Shackles there. And there's a killing spree now for the Tuscar. No help from the Tinker there. Drums now picked up by the Nature's Prophet. The score 9-4. Nine, nine to four. 2k net worth, but they get the Coxie onto it. He has the uh, Invis, though, but the Raze finds him. The blind Invis, 360 no-scope raise there from Shren's Shadow Feed. Finds Weeha. Great play. Nice rotation again for Toller on this clockwork. And the Tinker and the Shadow Feed. They're pretty big. 58 and 6, 53 and 31. Voka only 31 and 5. Look at the net worth now. Fury actually surprisingly up there with these uh, rotations. Doesn't necessarily have the best CS, but... Oh, appreciate it, Geo. Thanks for the follow, man. Do you take the teal on tower bottom, and the mid tower does fall as well. Tyler, now what's his build going to be this game? He's looking just for a soul ring. He looks like he's going to go for the hood first. He wants to put the pipe for his team. It's fair enough. The crazy amount of magical damage coming out from the side of the Radiant. Oh, there's another Sprout Snowball combination onto this poor Shadow Shaman. Will dodge the Sunstrike though, gets the Hex off. Drums will be popped. Rotation comes through from Clockwork, gets the Shackles underneath the tower. This is the best he can do. Nice shards though from the Tusk. Can they find anything else? Tower is not going to be enough damage to aggro changes thanks to Rod. The Tusk will be able to TP himself, but here comes the hook shot from Toddler trying to bring down Rod. He's actually going to have to try and force himself away. There's the Sprout, there's the Tree Ants. He's got the uh, Battery Assault going out, but he's just going to get body blocked in here. Look at this micro, beautiful control. Then we had a dive for the note. Tinker is here with the laser ice buff, not quite able to reach. Thanks to the follow, Kavana, much appreciated. Can they catch this clockwork? No, they can't. He somehow survives thanks to the rotation of meat. This Tree Ant will go down. Ice Path not quite able to catch it, but here comes the Shaman. Ice Pathed up, Liquid Fire up, gets sprouted up, drops the wards. Sunstrike will come through. Hex comes out. Can he get the shackles off? Yes, he can. He survives. Tanks for it all. We'll be able to bring down the Jakiro. Double kill, but he will drop to the Liquid Fire there. Meep there not having enough mana to burst with the laser. Did actually have the story. Maybe he could have popped that and gone for it. But they get a return kill at least. Score now 11 to 7. 2k net worth advantage still for the side of Backpack Gaming on the Radiant Tile here. Rotation comes through from the Razor. Has the killer phase boost and drums cleared. Looking for that fast S and Y. Shadow Fiend, how's he doing? Treads, he's also going for the S and Y. No blink yules this game. This is some serious shit. Weeha here. Has the Midas completed? And he's starting to farm his way back up the top of that net worth. Just behind the Shadow Fiend now. Tinker, has he got his bots? He does indeed. Looking for the Blink Dagger next. Furion trying to pressure this tier 1 tower, but here comes Tinker now. He's got his bots, so he can just keep spamming out his spells. Titan still has the Ravage available. We haven't seen it activated yet this game. They might be able to try and go for something here. The Hookshot goes on to the Razor. Is it going to be in a follow up? They get the Gush there as well. Eye of the Storm is used here by Artis. He's doing a lot of damage, but here comes the Ravage. Tinker coming through as well with the Rocket Spam. Can they get a laser kill here? At least Rod. Oh, the Nature's Wrath doing a crazy amount of damage there. Brings down both the Clockwork. The Shadow Fiend as well goes down to the Invoker. They're not able to find that big Razor. He is tanky enough to survive. They just get the Fury on there for that first Ravage. The TP away there from the Meep Tinker. Shakira again just being a nuisance, constantly pressuring this Tidehunter. He will TP himself back to the Shrine and continue farming up the jungle. Will be spotted out by that ward. But bottom lane. R M A P E Rampe here. On the Shaman. Has the wards up in five seconds. Maybe wants to pressure this tower. Actually gonna TP into the fight. Ice path there when the Magpie wants to take a lot of damage. Go through Snable there, finds the kill. Shackles there going on to Rod. Can they bring him down? Yes, they can. One more hit for the Titan will be able to do so. Clockwork with the rocket flare. Can they get anything else? Effer shot comes through there onto Shakira, but here comes the big, big Razor doing lots of damage there. Actually, Tusk gets the double kill there, but here comes the rest of the Team UK. Dire side hookshot there goes onto the Razor. Beautifully traps him in. Ice shards comes through. Can they find anything else? No, they actually gonna try and back themselves out. And this barrier division, they're not able to force through that choke point. Shadow not able to get close enough to land some of those Razors. Needed to burst down that Razor. Still pretty even, 15 to nine, only a 2K advantage. Meep is here trying to deep push this tower. It will go down. Can he get the deny? No, he cannot. Shakira will find that last hit. Tidehunter actually going for the uh, Tranquil Boots. Ice Path, not 
not going to find the Tinker. I don't know. Tide going for the four star first time. Okay, interesting. Actually, we'll go four star hood this game then with the Soul Tranquil. What else can he do? Uh, I think that's about it, really. you got to go pipe. Surely this game for the Invoke and the Jakiro. And all the other stuff. Four staff picked up by the Tuscar as well. Trying to get out of these clockwork engagements. It's going to be vital. They're moving bottom though. Shadow Fiend has a double damage rune. They spot out Rod. There's the gush. That is a lot of damage with the rays they find. And they don't need the missile there for the Tinker. They can turn their attention towards this T1 tower if they so wish. With the DD. They've got the Shaman and the clockwork up top to Deepush. And that is exactly what they will do. Tinker is here with the March of the Machines, and this is what we want to see them doing. We want to see the Tide up front here with the Tinker just laying in the machines and the Shadow Fiend punching the towers. There's no way anyone wants to fight into this, especially when you have a Ravage available. Saying that, here comes the TPs. Tusk with the Snowball Shards in the Sunstrike with the Warriors Punch. Actually split the damage there between the Tide and the Shadow Fiend. Decent amount of damage. He can't get the Requiem off here into the Ravage. Doesn't quite get it off this burst down there by the Furon coming in, but here's me with the rockets, with the laser. What can he find? Rod getting very low. Gush will find it. Beautiful kill there by Pseudo. The missiles, they're going to spam. Is he going to get the Tusk? Not quite. He's very low. Going to try for the deny instead, but Tinker is here. You don't want to deny this. With Tinker in the area, you will just die to an incoming missile. Tusk will try and TP himself away, and Clockwork will claim this last hit on the tower. No, he will not. Like Creep will get it instead. Unlucky son. Tusk still chilling. No TP, so he's just hiding himself in the trees. Shaman, though, has the wards ready to go on this tower. Wants some space created by his team here. Weha minusing up the siege cart, looking for the Aghanims. Not too far away. 800 gold, and he'll have it. Actually, a TP top to depush the Shadow Shaman. Big wave coming in with the siege cart. Thanks for the follow, Tabby315. Appreciate it. Shadowfiend getting pretty close to the SOI. We'll grab the Bounty Rune. Thank you to Vertigo as well for the follow, man. Appreciate it. Weeble will come through from Weeha Voka. Just trying to de-push this wave, but he's going to get wrapped around here by the Clockwork. No, he's just trying to grab a Bounty Rune. But Invis here on the task. They're going to go for this. Weeha has enough mana for the Sunstrike. There's the Shards. Beautiful cogs, though. Traps himself and gets the hook shot off. The Sunstrike connects, but he's able to run himself away. Pops the urn. Great play there for Tolero and the Clockwork. Getting himself out of a certain death. The rest of his team there to back him up with that disgusting missile spam. Oh, quick pause from the Shadow Fiend. Rip. That is the four agonyms completed there from the Wee Voker. The Almighty Broso, thanks for the fun, man. Appreciate it. This game, 16 to 11. Team UK still in it. Sound Infect is now following. Thank you very much as well. Looks like Furon will be looking for that Orchid Malevolence. Not too far away from that. His game will be to get on top of this Tinker, it seems, with the Tusk. Shaman looking for that Blink. Actually, not too far away, all things considered. About 900 gold. Four Staff will be the first major item for the Clockwork after that Urn of Shadows. Tuscar. Tidehunter, sorry. He's sitting on 2.2k gold. I imagine he wants to buy that hood. Shakira will be looking for the Four Staff as well. This is Four Staff Gaming. Four Staff, Four Staff, Four Staff. I imagine we will probably get a Blink over a Four Staff. Might get a Four Staff. We'll see. I imagine Razor will get a Hurricane Pike as well at some point. So that's an additional Four Staff. So Shakira, Tusk. I mean, Furon will probably get a Pike as well. That's going to be at least four four stuffs. Me and Voker won't have to go for one. We're reconnecting on the Shadow Fiends. How is he doing as well? He's got his S and Y nearly. Tinker has the Blink Dagger now. Looking for the Aether Lens. Oh, we are G on the way. Tinker, he's going to TP himself home. Razor searching for something, but not finding it. Has his S and Y completed? Looking straight towards that BKB. 
just wants to run at that Tinker and bring him down. And to be fair, there's not much to go through the BKB. The only thing there is the hook shot of the block work. Shakiro being pinged out. They know he's here. Shadow Fiend's rotating. He's trying to TP himself out, and he's going to be able to do it. There are no stuns there between the Shadow Fiend and Tinker. And he gets out. Pings are coming out. They know they are in the bottom side of the map. We are Agonim's now completed. Continuing to farm. Now second in the net worth, just behind the Razor. So they might try to make a smoke play here. They have the Ravage available, just not enough mana. You know, it actually goes for the Soda Crest. Okay, they want the physical damage protection. Interesting. Shadow Fiend there not wanting that mana. He does have a clarity on anyway, so he'll be fine. Razor looking for a Roshan attempt, maybe? Chilling in the pit. Shadow Fiend deep pushes versus these Treants. That is the SY now picked up by the Shwen Shadow Fiend. And we see the smoke here with the Tide. Looking for that four star Ravage initiation. The Radiant, they're in the pit with Weeha and the Razor. They know. Oh, there's a DD there. They're going to turn back around for the DD. Oh no, the timing. Jakiro breaks the smoke. Hook shot there under the T1. The Cogs pushes him away. Ice Path will come out there with the Macro Pyre, but they're just making space for this. Roshan, Tiki will TP in here. But Roche. Shaman's walking over, but it's too late. Roshan's gone. Weeha picks up the Aegis. Razor very low. Can they turn into this fight? TP codes out there. He's able to escape. No, sorry, that was a snowball, not a TP. Four stars from up to the high ground there. Keeps himself safe. Beautiful play. Can they catch one? Here comes Invoker with the Tornado EMP. Shaman drops down the walls though. With the Ravager, Weeha's going to immediately lose that Aegis. Can they get a follow-up kill? Ice Path there holding back the Shadow Fiends. Can they catch him? There, Requiem comes out. Meatball goes out. Weeha drops to the deck. Aegis popped. Second life gone as well. Tinker there finding the secondary kill there on the Jakiro. Big win for Team UK. They take this tier 1 tower now and look towards the tier 2. No more mana left on the Shaman. Of course, he used the Serpent Wards already in that fight. But that Blink Dagger, very, very useful on the Shadow Shaman. Nice, good timing on it, actually, all things considered. And Meep, he's going to refill himself. TP back to the lane. I don't think they want to push this too much. Shadow Shaman looks to be the Sacrificial Lamb. He'll go down. Meep is here, blinking very aggressively in the trees. Manages to get another blink out with the rearm. And the spam. Tide looking aggressive. Blinks forward, but they need to disengage. They need to run themselves out now. Weeha is up in 10 seconds. Looks like they'll be able to do so. Clockwork needs to get out, but he's got no TP. He's going to get caught here by the Tusk. Hook shot to the creep. Can he keep running? Shards there from the Tusk with the 4 star forward. They're trying to chase him. He's waddling his way. He's waddling his way. Sunstrike. Oh, so, so low. 30 HP. No earn, no one. The rotation comes through from the rod. Nature's Prophet with the Tusk Shards finds the kill. They chase him. Space created. I want to ping the chat wheel here, but unable. Oh, they might get a turnaround kill there with the lasers. The rockets there. Rod gets the sprout up. They get the break it. Get the four stuff. The laser finds the kill. That is the bigger kill. That is more than worth the clockwork's life. Can they get this Tusk as well? Meet here rearming, looking for more, but I don't think they're going to get him. He will survive. Weeha, though, stalking this Night Stalker. Night Stalker? What am I talking about? <laughs> Shadow Fiend. That's the hero here with the razors and the big arms. Alacrity, though, Invoker, he's thinking about it. Cold Snap has the meatball coming through with the Deafening Blast, and that is the combo to seal the Shadow Fiends. He goes down. Tinker is here, though, to deepish this wave. Man Gomps there, thank you for the follow man, appreciate it. Clockwork, pops the dust, spots out the Wii, gets the hook shot there as well. Tinker is here on basically four mana laser rockets. Can they bring him down? Looks like they'll be able to. The battery assault comes out as well and they find the killing spree there for meat with the laser. Shards comes through the tusk, comes up the TP. Snowball comes forward there as well. They're trying to fight into this, but the Macro Pie comes there onto Tolera as well with the Walrus Punch. And he's got like now on this tusk, but the Tinker, he's blinking away. He is running for the hills. How is the Tusk godlike? Bone 7 here on this Tusk. 9 and 1. I didn't even realise. Crazy. Bottom, meanwhile, Shaman. Look at this space created. He's done some crazy work here onto this tower. We'll get trapped though and probably will go down here. It gets the tower. Well worth it. Snowball there with the right click from Rod. Gets the kill. 21 to 15, but it's less than a 1k net worth lead. For Backpack Gaming. Team UK very much still in this. 
Look at that rocket spam is so obnoxious. <laughs> they do have the Orkin Malevolence now picked up by the Nature's Prophet. As Shadowfiend doing, he's gone for the four stuff as well, looking for that Hurricane Pike. Needs that maneuverability. Blink Dagger picked up by the Tusk. Four staff now by the Jakira as well. Lots of maneuverability items coming through. Make these team fights a little bit more chaotic. Make the initiations a little bit easier. The task at hand, catch Tinker. Kill Tinker, win game. You see Jakira here camping himself in Tinker's favorite spot. In the trees. But he's not there right now. He's in the jungle. Farming up everything in sight. Has a four staff himself as well with the Aether Lens. We saw how effective Cancels Tinker was before in the uh, Epicenter qualifiers against Team UK. Blink, refresh, blink, refresh, blink, refresh. Four staff, refresh, four staff, refresh. Just could not catch him. Even if he took damage, didn't matter. Just refresh, four staff. Weeha, though, he's looking for a BKB as his next major item. He's like, oh, top. Missed it. They find the Tinker. They've been camping up here for the last minute and a half of the Jakira, but they do find him. That is a big kill on the sidelines there for a minute. He can now push into this tier two without too much defense. They have to try and split this one. Shadowfiend's going to try and do his best to apply pressure here. Don't know if anybody else is going to be able to apply pressure in the middle. Actually, they're trying to defend this, but I don't know if they can. Tusk comes out, spots out the clockwork. Titan is here, has the Ravage available. But Cold Snap comes through from Weeha. Got the shards there as well from the Tusk, but they're just trying to focus on the tower here. There's the Tornado EMP. Just trying to burst the mana, hold the back. Four stuff there from Tidal. Dodge most of it. But they do have this Ravage available. Ice Path there, coming forward with the Orchid. Kraken Shell. There's Blink Forward Hex there from the Shaman. Gets spread out, drops the wards, tries to get Shackle off, gets it off to Shakira. Meatball comes through from Weeha doing a lot of damage. Shadow Shaman will surely fall. Pops the dust before he does. But the Requiem comes through, bursts down the Shakira. Hookshot there, controlling up Weeha. Meanwhile, the Warrior's Punch goes through there onto the Shadow Feed. There's the Ravage onto three heroes. Can they kill Weeha? Yes, they can. He gets brought down with the Rays to Rare, finding the kill. Another Radiant, they're on full retreat. Can they get him? It's TPing out, there's no stun. He gets out. Tusk in the trees. Does he have a TP? Yes, he does. He's going to get himself out as well. Tinker finds it. No cancel though for the TP, but what a win for Team UK there. 3k XP, slight gold change, but 23 to 17. They're going to push down into this tier 1 tower themselves. Tinker back and live in a nick of time. But what a great ravage there. Nice discipline from the Tidal to hold that until they really, really need it. But this BKB will be coming out from this Razor very, very soon. If they had that, it would have been a different fight. Pushing now again, Tinker with the brave TP. Magpie will go down just to burst the creep waves, prevent this push anymore. But Team UK, for the first time this game, they are in the lead, net worth wise. Less than a 1k advantage, but an advantage is still an advantage. But there's the BKB on this Razor. I mean, that is scary if you are Team UK. Let's take a look at his positioning. Bulls. No, he's got the Shaman to cover his back. No, he doesn't. Sorry, I can't look at the map. That is a Fury on, not, on each, uh, <laughs> not a Shadow Shaman. That was a very brave uh, blinking about there from uh, Leap. He continues to do it, though. They do have some vision around, to be fair. They got this ward. Rotations are coming through, though. Clockwork and Shadow Shaman smoked. And Weeha is firing up the stack. I don't think they see him, though. They were looking for the Fury on. They're going to turn towards the Ancients now. Weeha is there though, they get the Hex, Blink Forward there, drops the Shackles. Can they get him? Yes they can. Rocket will find the last kill, meet there. With the Tinker, brings down Weeha again. 65 seconds, no Invoker, no buyback. Here comes the push. Safe lane Tinker, new meta coming to pubs near you. Furon trying to do his best to split, but he is against the exact antithesis of the rat, the anti-rat, the tinker. DD on this Shwen Shadow Fiend as well, going ham on this tier two, and this will fall. They go for more. Akapai will come out, gets one raise, two raise, second one will miss. So a fair bit of damage there, they will back themselves out. Roshan is available, I believe. No, not quite. 30 seconds. They'll move top. They're picking out the Rosh. That's what they want. They still got the Ravage, of course. 
with the Ravage and the Tinker. They have such great Roshan control this game. But Furon's trying to scout it there. But oh, actually, he's caught the Jakiro. Shackles there. Jakiro will go down. No more Dragon for 55 seconds. Evoker is back up now. Tuscar is looking for a Shadow Blade as his next time. Just all about that maneuverability, all about that initiation. Thanks for the follow, Liam, mate. Appreciate it. We see Meep on the Tink. Just, oh, he doesn't want that one. He wants to cancel that. He's going to re-TP down. But here is Evoker with the Tornado. Dodges it just about. Needs to refresh and get there. Heck out of dodge. No, he's got, he's got balls of steel, this man. They do finally turn towards the Roshan, though. Sunstrike will come out, though. And actually, they're not going for it. They're looking for something middle. Try to get that Forged Spirit. Tigger continuously de-pushing this Nature's Prophet. Completely cancelling out the hero's ability to split push. They actually might try and find him here. Clockwork. Rocket Flare. He's going to TP himself away, though, before they can grab him. But they're setting up for this Roshan or attempting to, but they've got the tree ants in the pit, scouting it out. They've got the Sunstrike as well, so they've got some really good ways of telling when this Roshan is going on on the Radiant side of Backpack Gaming. Weeha's Evoker now has a full BKB as well, so we have these two BKBs yet to be shown off in the fights for the side of the Radiant. They smoke up themselves, and they're going to look for a pick-off, and then maybe the Roshan for themselves. Tinker's gone, there's nobody left in the jungle. Oh, oh, they spot Tinker! Cold Snap applied, but he forced himself away. Gets the rearm. No, he can't. Cold Snap is there. Snowball into the ice path there, and he gets brought down with the Orkham 11 as well. Razor finding the kill. Does himself buy a bag, but otherwise down for 70 seconds. Clockwork needs to get himself out of dodge. Looks like he'll be able to do so. Said they're trying to chase into... Oh, there's going to be a buyback here. They've got the Ravage before the BKBs come out. Drops down the Shadow Shadow Wars. Gets the Hex. Gets the Shackles. The Razor's going to go down. Meep there with the buyback. Rockets, lasers, gets the double kill, brings down the Razor, and the Chikiro Snowball comes forward there onto the Mink Tinker. But Rod goes down as well. Can they find Tusk? He's sat up here on this high ground. Do they have any vision? Does Tusk have a TP? I don't know. No, he doesn't. He's going to stuck there for a long time. They're chasing Weehar, though. It's the bigger kill. Can they find a Meep there with the Rockets? Drops down the Ice Wall. Shadow Shaw needs to get the Force Stuff Blink off. Four seconds for the Blink. Gets another Force Stuff. There's the Hex. Gets the Shackles. Weehar is locked down. Can they bring in this Ice Wall? It's so, so annoying, but they finally do catch him. Killing spree there for the Shadow Fiend. Huge win for Team UK. 3k net worth ahead now. The score 24 to 23, 30 minutes into this game. What can they get off of this? No buyback on Weeha for 60 seconds. No Razor for 34 seconds. They're going to go for the Roshan. Set the tide and the clock to tack this up. Now it's the BKB on the Shadow Fiend as well. Tusk is here. But they've got the Weeha. He's down. For 46 seconds, can't offer a Sunstrike or anything else into this fight and meet on the Tinker. Look at the space he can create. Tusk is going for the still, gets the Snowball off. Can he get it? Yes, he did! Bone 7 with the plate, he gets the Aegis Snail, eats the cheese, four stars himself out. Macropire Ice Path there into three into the Roshan pit, and Toron's going to die inside the pit. Then Wrath of Nature comes out as well, doing a crazy amount of damage. What a play by Bone 7. Well played. Pinged out. Weeha's just like, ah, uh, what is, what? What was that? Bone 7, man, with the plays. Tuscar. Blink. Snowball. Steel. Cheese. Four stuff. Holy shit. Reducing what was a decent advantage for Team UK. They're just not having any luck around this Roshan pit. Game 1 as well get destroyed. By Backpack Gaming. And this time around as well. Bone 7. Single-handedly salvaging. The game for his team. Not so much the game necessarily, but anytime Team UK look like they're about to get something, he is there. What a great play. Still has the Aegis, of course, as well. Now they can play aggressive. There's no Ravage for 15 seconds. There's a Shiva's Guard there on the Tidehunter. Oh. Oh my. Invis Rune up on the Shadow Fiend. Looking to defend this if they can. Tier 2's going down, though. Look, we're TPing in. Do they have the glyph? They're going to use the fortify. Do they have any vision? I don't think they do. Trying to go for the requiem. Cancels up. We heart. Invis up. There's a dust with the hookshot for they get the gush there for as well. BKB pop by the Shadow Fiend. With the Ravage pops the Requiem off as well. They bring down Weeha. He goes down. Clockwork goes down on the side though. No, sorry, that's a Shadow Shine. BKB pop there by the Razor. He's going to try and TP himself out. Furon goes down as well. They find free, only losing one. To UK, they don't need the Aegis to win these fights. Again, beautiful timing there on the Ravage. 
What can they get off of this now? They're looking to try and fight into this tier 2 tower, maybe. I know Razor can't TP up. He TP'd back to the base. He's looking for a Shiva's guard for himself. Tuscar still holding on to the Aegis. Has enough gold for the uh, Shadow Blade. Two tomes of knowledge in stock sitting on the floor for backpack gaming there. But uh, Weehar's just been punished so hard in these mid-game fights. Excellent lockdown and control from the Tide, the Clockwork, and the Shadow Shaman. Brilliantly executed from UK Gaming. And they will claim this Tier 2 tower here, pounding into it with the Shadow Fiends. 3k advantage again. What can they do to throw it this time? Let's see. I didn't throw it. That was just an excellent play by Bone7. Like, so impressed with that. Sheepstick there, picked up by the Tinker. Now this is when we start to get really, really obnoxious with the instant chain hex lock. You've got two hexes. You've got the Shadow Shaman hex and you've got the uh, infinite hex from the Tinker. They're smoked up here. They're looking for a pickoff. Can they find the Invoker? Meep is here in the trees with the hex. Four shots to forward. There's the hex. Gets the chain. There's another hex. No hookshot will miss. Gets the refresh on the hex though. But here comes Snowball, man, Tusk, Warrus Punch, they get Meep, that is of course a dieback beyond Godlike now on Bone 7. 90 seconds down with no Meep, maybe UK Gaming baiting off more they can chew. Shadow Shaman will go down to the Tornado, can they get any more? Tolera is caught there as well, he looks to go down next, when he's trying to run himself away, and Tolera is just going to be left to die. Weehaw with the double kill, trying to force that with the hook shot miss. UK Gaming, I was joking when I said what can you do to throw it, looks like they found out. That. It's going to be the dieback on the Tinker that will do it. And now, suddenly, even Stevens again, 29 to 26, less than a 1k advantage for any team 33 minutes into this game. I don't even know what's happening. I might have an aneurysm or a stroke or something at some point. But there's going to be another buyback here. Tolero this time with the clockwork. BKB pop. Ravage comes out though. Fjorn with the BKB keeps himself alive. The snowball there keeping both the Razor and the Tusk healthy. But here comes the hook shot through. Trying to control up Rob there on the Fjorn. But he sprouts up the clockwork. Trying to find incidents. But it's three versus fives. How are they doing this? Unstoppable streak now from the Shadow Fiend. Meatball comes through. Does miss. The Macro Pie into the middle of everybody. Tied very, very low. But Schwen is trying to do it. And Apocalypse, whatever it's called. Cataclysm comes through. Misses everybody. But it doesn't look cool. Yes, it does. Everyone else needs to back themselves to the fountain. BKB forced there by the Shadow Shaman on Wii's Invoker. Drops down the wards and the cogs, and this will be enough to repel them off the base. What a crazy hole. Team UK somehow managed to pull that off. Three versus five. Not even taking any real damage to their structures. They're chasing them more. They're going to get the Jakira on their way out. Yes, they do. Wicked Stick Street now for the Shadow Fiend. Can they get anything else? Doesn't look like it, but... They've got five heroes. Backpack, they've got three. No buybacks available, but there's no Ravage. 90 seconds. Can they go for this? I don't know if they can. We are looking for that Lincoln Sphere. Ay, 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 ay. Tinker, he's thinking about buyback status. Oh, we're doing. Shadow Fiend, yes. Tidehunter, no. Meep. That's no, right. Shadow Fiend, yes. Tidehunter, yes. Meep, no. Razor, no. Weeha, yes. On the Invoker. And Bone Seven, yes. On the Tusk. The richest Tusk that has ever lived. What is his score this game? 10, 1, and 13 on a position 4 Tusk. That will be the Blink Dagger picked up on the Tidehunter. Ravage up at 30. Hook shot is ready. Shadow Shaman looking for the Angst. He's got half the components, not too far away, 1700 gold. There will be a Shadow Blade up here for the Tusk. With a gem as well, so he's looking to start dewarding with his Blink 4 stuff on his high ground. You don't need to be ranged when you've got gold. Gold can buy you anything. Shadow Bean here with the DD. Looking scary, looking for the buff. He's sitting on nearly 6k gold, actually. We have a four man smoke now come through. Ravage is available very, very soon. Four seconds. They're going to try and fight this. Weeha! He's spotted out. Can they get him? Pops the invisibility. They get the hook shot, though, with the dust. They're catching there into the cogs. He's going to get burst up again. Monster Cool Streak now down for 85 seconds. What is this game? Weeha down again. What can UK Esports get? What can they do? 
Team UK, come on. What is going on? Thanks for the follow, Adam. Appreciated. I'm so excited I'm getting team names wrong. Shakira here drops the Observer Ward here. Trying to scout out this defense. But it looks like they're going to try and push into the space here. While they're chasing Tinker. Look at the space created from this boy here. Force there. Full counts to the TP on the Furion. Beautiful play. Chain Hex them up. They go towards the tier 3 though. Shadow Shard drops the wards. No infinite. Uh, sorry, but no Aghanim's upgrade yet, of course. But it will do enough damage if they can. Blink forward there with the Hex on Shakira. BKB pop there. The Razor. Trying to go ham. Trying to push them back with these Shadow Shard wards. They are making space. They're trying to hit into this tower now. Razor's coming through there by the Shadow Fiends. Meep. He's in the middle lane trying to push that in as well. Fortification will come out. We are up in 25 seconds. They still have this Ravage available. Fortification is enough to hold them back for now, though. No more creeps. Farming up those treants with the razors. They just got back themselves out. We heart is available. They don't want to fight into that invoker on the high ground if they can help it. Clockworks going out with the flares. Full Shiva's guard now picked up by the Razor. Buyback, buyback, buyback. Meep Tinker has the buyback now. We have 50 gold away. Razor, yes. Shadow Fiend, yes. Tide, not enough gold. Tuscar, of course he does. Bone 7. The Golden Walrus. BT2 is now picked up by the Tinker. He can jump into any fight anywhere. Roshan is up in 15 seconds. Team UK, they're trying to clear out, get some vision up and set up for the third Roshan. This will be the Refresher Shard Rosh, which they want to give to the Tide Hunter for the double Ravage. But they have had a bit of a bogey with Roshan so far, but they are now 6k up in the net worth. They have never had such an advantage yet in this series. Can they keep hold of it? That is the question. Roshan is up. Aegis, cheese, refresher. Shadow Fiend, level 25, has gone for the plus 3 damage. Has the full butterfly, sitting on 3.4k gold as well. We'll be looking for the blood fawn. 700 gold towards the shaman. Oh, do they just give the, do they give the refresher to the tide or the shaman? Probably the tide, right, at this point. Here we go. Backpack gaming. Can they contest this? I don't think Bone 7's got another one in him. They're going to go for it. It's five on smoke, but the Roche is already gone. They're too slow. Who picks up what? Tide gets the cheese. He wants the refresher. There we go. Get out of the pit, guys. The enemies are coming. Shadow Shaman. Oh, there's the smoke. Bone 7 with the blink forward of the Morris Punch. Ravage comes out, but BKBs and snowballs everywhere. First Ravage is no good. Can they turn this around, though? Meep in the middle of this fight. Meatball coming through there from Weeha. They've got another Ravage available if they want it. Is he going to pop it? No, he's not. He drops to the deck, but they do get the Razor at least. So far, it's a two-for-one. God Light Streak, though, on the Shadow Fiend. Snowball comes forward there from the Tinker, but a beautiful four-star blink away, but he's still getting controlled up here by the Tusk with the Hex. No, Meep, he's going to get out. No, Ice Shards, they will cancel the TP, and they do find him. Tinker there goes down. Rod finds the kill. Bone 7 again with the plays, keeping his team in this game. 5k deficit. Now for Backcat Gaming, they win 1k up. Aegis. Who had the Aegis? Did it go? I think it did. Cheese though, still on the Shadow Fiend. Refresher still on the Tide. Not all is lost yet. Lotus Orb now on this Tusk. Oh, Clockwork. He's in trouble. Rotation's coming through. Gets the force off. Sprite will miss. Snowball comes forward there. With that Snowball speed, he's able to catch up to him pretty quickly. Warrior's yeah, Punch yeah. comes through as well. Meanwhile, got Light Streak. They find the kill on the Jakira elsewhere onto the map. They're trying to save the, these clockwork. Can they do it? No, it doesn't look like Weeha is going through with the Tornado. They're just ignoring him. Sunstrike comes through. Tornado will go down. Gem on the deck. But the Cox. <laughs> ah. What a game, guys. What a series. Shadow Fiends. Ooh. Oh, Shaman, he's so close. Bone 7, he's in the trees. Weehar is here. Gets the cold snap off onto the Shadow Fiend. Tidehunter's going to TP himself in. We'll just about miss the EMP. 
We Heart is going to try and run himself away. Has the BTs, of course, now. Will minus up another creep. And keep on going. Try to de-push this mid lane. Clockwork up in 50 seconds. Shakira in 30. Razor looking for the MKB next. Full Blood Fawn now on the Shadow Fiend. Lincoln Sphere up on We Heart. Looking for the Sheepstick of his own. Rod. BKB. Orchid. Also looking for a Sheepstick. Oi, oi, oi. Stressing out, guys. Man, these teams have been playing for so long today, since 5 p.m. GMT, 6 p.m. CET. And it's a long time later. Ag's picked up now by the Shadow Shaman. That's going to be a big one. Do they want to give the refresher shard to him so he gets the uh, double wards? Go keep it for the tide. He's got double ravage available. I don't know. I actually don't know. Uh, they've got so many BKBs on the side of the Radiant, but they are wearing down. Six seconds on the Razor. Seven on the Evoker. And seven on the Fury. Oh, Snowball forwards. Trying to find the Shadow Fiend. Gets caught by the Tornado. Ice Path EMP. No mana left. Tusk is here. Invis has the War of Punch into the Macro Pyre. He's going to be okay though. Tinker is here with a million machines to push them back. Furion TPing up. Oh, TP himself straight back again. There's Meep. Immediately cancels out the actions of the Furion. Trying to fart these Furion tree ends here. We're going to do so successfully. Zorn bring a data man. Thanks for the follow. Appreciated. Oh, Cataclysm. I just used to scout. But this Furion is going to get the uh, level 25. Jump around TP, cool down soon. My Cola Bows, man. Thanks for the follow. Snowball there, just into the creeps. Oh, I start losing my voice. If this game goes any crazier. Oh, smoke though, but it's going to be broken by the Invis Tusk to get the gush off him. Hook shot there as well. Force off there with the Lotus. There goes the Ravage onto two. There's the double Ravage. They really want this Bone 7 kill, and that is a big kill. 848 gold going towards the clockwork does have buyback though. They find the Chikira, but they used to double Ravage just to kill the supports. Is it worth it? Question mark. I don't know. Buyback will come through for Bode 7. Will be enough to force them back. Tinker trying to deal with Weeha here. Level 24 and Meep versus level 25 of the Weeha. Of course he has the minor 60 second Tornado cooldown he's gone for. So that Obnoxious versus Obnoxious Tornado versus Tinker. Ty Blick himself forward, of course has no Ravage available, just using the Shiva's Guard there, trying to be attacking front line, but here's the Axe, Shadow Shaman. Tornado comes through, catches the Tide, backdoor protection is off, and these wards should do enough to bring down the tier 3 tower. Fortification is there though, just in a nick of time, Shadow Fiend, can he offer enough damage to bring this down? Tide in trouble, BKB popped by the Razor, he's getting low, but the Tide will go down, trapped up by the Sprout, the tier 3 somehow still standing, 50 HP. And Team UK, they're going to play it safe. They're going to get themselves out. Oh, my goodness. Tinker here. Sitting on 9k gold. 9k gold, man. What, what, does, he, what does he go for, though? Does he go for a Dagon? Does he go for an E-Blade? Ags? I actually don't know this game. Maybe he goes for the eggs. And they're looking for him. Oh, Rod spots out the clock. Well, I guess the silence, but the four-stop is there. Time. He goes. There's the Dagon 5. He spends all the gold in one go and now doesn't quite have enough money for buyback. Please don't die, me. Oh, Warus Punch coming through there onto the Shadow Beam. But Beyond Galar Shrieky Bands to turn around brings him down. BKB popped now by the Razor in this fight. Toddler trying to fight into him, but he's just getting stuck trying to control up. Requiem of Souls comes out. But it's on to nothing. BKB is used there. But there goes the Razor. 100 seconds on the sideline. Cataclysm goes out. But again, fancy look. But doesn't do a whole lot. Razor has buyback, of course, for 90 seconds. Bone 7 does not. Gems everywhere on the deck. And I think he's going to get rid of the 4 stuff into his backpack and keep the Sol Ring for now. He wants that mana. Oh, my goodness. Bloodform Butterfly on the Shadow Fiend. He hits incredibly hard. 
sitting on nearly 5k gold himself. They look to push in and finally try and break this base 47 minutes into this game. Tornado misses. Hook shot from Tonera hits the Weevoker. Try to make the space he can. Shadow Shaman drops down the Ags wards. There goes the Ravage. Beautiful onto free. Tika comes in. Immediately burst down. Weehar goes down as well. Buybacks around. Everybody buys back apart from Bone 7. He doesn't have a BKB there on the Razor. They take the tier 3. Beeble comes through with a definite blast combination. Trying to turn this around. Tidal and Will fall. As well as Meep Tinker. UK. They need to get themselves out of this. Meep buys back. They finally take the tier 3. And they get the racks. The melee racks. That is big. Lots of buybacks, huge win for Team UK. 16k net worth up. They finally break the base. Shrines are now available to take. Oh, my heart, my throat, my lungs, my brain. This game, man, 16k net worth. Advantage Team UK, the score at 36 to 38. It's so even, but it's so not. Oh, it's, it's such a strange game. It feels like any team can win at any time. Roshan will be up so soon. 1 minute 43 seconds. Everyone's just buying out now. They've got no buyback on cooldown anyway, so... They're just buying out everything they can. Razor. What's he going for? I don't even know. He's got 800 gold, 900 gold. Roshan not yet up very soon. 1 minute, 22 seconds. He's spot out the clockwork. Tonera is going to get Warriors punched up here. There he is. Gets the D ward as well from the task. They have the snowball initiation if they need it. Cox is there from Tonera. He's making so much space. How how have they not killed him yet? <laughs> he finally goes down. We are claiming the kill. Thanks for the follow, Luminous17. Appreciated. But meet here with an arcane rune, actually. That is scary stuff. Ghost for the Tinker. There's the Dagon with the Sheep Hex. They go. They drop the Shaman Wars down onto the team. We force back the Weehar rotation. Tornado does not hit. No, it does. Sorry, he does catch his... Uh, I wonder where he went. He will go down. Weehar finds the kill there. But look at this Ags ult from the Shaman. Takes down another tier 3 tower. UK with the plays. Ugh. Excellent map usage there. They lose the Clockwork and the Shaman, but they both have buyback. I think that was very much a worthwhile play. Roshan is up so, so soon. Scouted up by a Weeha with the Sunstrike. 10 seconds, it is up. Another Refresher Shard for going. I think they, I, they've got to give it to the Shaman, surely, this time. He just needs to drop those walls down and they get the Megas. Thanks to the other follow man, Spackdu. Appreciate it, but it is the Radiant. They're going to be the ones to spot out. The Roshan first. Ice Buff will go through. Weeha, he's in Viz. Where is he going? He's looking for somebody. Who has the gem? shakira has got a gem. Ty doesn't. He's got a uh, cheese. Does anybody have a gem on the side of uh, the Dire? No, they don't. Hot work was the carrier. Oh, Ravage! Oh, Bone 7 goes down there to the Dagon meet, but he has to go die back. He's careful. He is so, so low. Managed to pick himself back up to the high ground. Great play. Razor goes down. That's a dieback beyond the light streak now for the Shadow Fiend. Can they find the Weevoker? He can. They can. That's surely game. Diebacks all around. They call it GG. UK take this to game three. They find the Chikiro as well. Beyond the light streak there for the Shadow Fiend. Team UK, they're doing it. What a game. 50 minutes in, they finally claim the game, wiping Backpack Gaming. Holy shit. Oh, I need to look at this graph, man. 38 to 43, 50 minutes in. Whew.